Jawbreaker, Sea Biscuit, or Hardtack as it is commonly known. This biscuit, made of three ingredients, was rationed out to soldiers in the American Civil War, as well as other soldiers and sailors in various countries throughout history. When properly prepared and stored, it will last a very long time, at least 20 years. There are biscuits in museums that date back as far as 1852, and they honestly look like they were baked recently. All right, let's do this. Cue in the music. Two, three, four. I'm gonna show you how to make emergency biscuits. Here's what you'll need. A non-greased baking pan, rolling pin, pizza slicer, three cups of whole wheat flour, and one cup of water. Pour the flour into a mixing bowl and slowly introduce the water. Keep mixing until you get a uniform consistency and everything feels rubbery, or like Play-Doh. If the dough crumbles, just add a little water until everything stays together. Now it's time to roll out the mixture. Sprinkle a little bit of flour on your work surface and start rolling that dough. I don't have a rolling pin, but most cylindrical objects will work like this plastic wrap tube or a long drinking glass. Keep working the dough until it is roughly a quarter of an inch thick and you'll be ready to start shaping the biscuits. Grab your pizza slicer, bonus points if yours looks like a ninja weapon like this, and square off the dough. The goal is to cut biscuits that are 3x3 three three in size. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. The last preparation step will be to poke holes in the dough to help it release moisture while in the oven. You can use a knife or a fork for this. Once the dough is thoroughly stabbed, place everything on your baking pan, including the edges we trimmed out, and set your oven to 375 degrees. We're going to bake this for 30 minutes initially, then turn them over and bake for another 30 minutes. While the biscuits are in the oven, you can use this time to, I don't know, maybe clean your guns? No, not those guns. Yes, that one. Or dance in the backyard. You want to look for a nice even brown color, so add or reduce time as necessary. Once the biscuits are done, you'll see why the word jawbreaker comes to mind. Now, how do you eat it? You have a few options. If your teeth is up to the task, you can eat it as is, but I recommend that you smash it up by running over it with your car, or just put it in a sandwich bag and go crazy. You can also soak it in your coffee or tea, or sprinkle the crumbs on your scrambled eggs to add some texture. It can also be used as a thickener in gravy and other sauces. Keep these biscuits dry and it will be there for you when you need it. Mylar bags or a vacuum sealing system will help preserve them long after everyone has turned into zombies. The biscuits can handle extreme temperatures, so feel free to put them in your bug out bag and your glove compartment. I take these hiking and they're perfect. Here's the nutritional content for a 3x3 biscuit weighing roughly 50 grams. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Take care. Pour the water into a mixing bowl and slowly introduce the water. What the hell?